Hey everybody, it's Dan the Outdoor Trade Show Network. It's Sunday night, it's time for We Care You Matter. I'm up at Freedom Bates in Lavelle, Wisconsin with Dan Creviston and Jesse Qualley. And we're going to talk about something that we just kind of, I found out about yesterday morning. Justin Blanchard posted that there was uh, something new and that had to do with uh, fishing. And it was head to head and oh man, I got hooked. Dan here, I called Dan right away because he's one of the sponsors on Head to Head Fishing. And I think this is going to be a big deal. And, and I think that the fact that you're a sponsor and you saw the, you could see the writing on the wall, this is going to be a big deal. And I would like us to be, all of us to be a big part of what they're doing there. I watched it. I thought it was great. I can't say, I can't say enough good things. I could talk for an hour about all the, all the nice so, Dan, if you would kind of explain a little bit about head-to-head -head fishing, and we'll talk a little bit more. Well, this head-to-head -head fishing is uh, something that the guys put on up in Appleton at Real Shot, um, and they've been working on it for a real long time. And <clears throat> from what I, what I gathered back in 2009, building everything, and this year it finally came out to where they had two events of... Uh, each event had eight anglers, two brackets, and the first first bracket or the first event started yesterday, um, and it was on uh, two anglers in the morning from I believe 6:30 to 11:30, um, and then there was two anglers from 6:30 till 11:30 uh, on Silver Lake. And they fished for five hours against each other, and they moved on to the next bracket. And then in the afternoon hours, they had um, this afternoon session on the same two lakes against the two guys. It's kind of hard to explain, but you almost have to go to head-to-head -head, uh, fishing on Facebook and or youtube and and check it out it's it's amazing it's addicting it's it's better watching the mlf it's well, like it's like the march madness kind of the, ba yeah, the it's basketball like a, bracket it's like a basketball bracket <laughs> but a smaller smaller version of it and i had one uh, i had two guys in there that i knew um one guy i worked with was uh, uh ron Trudowski, um and uh, he got lost out yesterday right away and then uh, a good friend uh uh, ice fishing partner. Um, uh, he's one of my pro staff for ice fishing. Um, I, we sponsored him this year and uh, he got out today so he got eliminated today so uh, he won't be making it on. It's too bad but he did good. He represented Freedom Baits really well and I'm proud of him and there's just going to be more and more to come I think next year with these guys up there do, running this tournament. Well, that's why I'm doing this. I want to support these guys. I yeah. want to push this now. That's my big thing today is I want to help these guys out. I want to help them out all that I can with getting, spreading the word of just all that was going on with that. I thought it was pretty neat. Yeah, it's cool how they have that where you just, you know, it's like a catch photo and release, you know, well, they're not taking pictures, but they're, you know, releasing it right away. They're not putting in the live well, not killing fish or anything. And it has a scorable bass has to be two pounds too so they made it really really challenging yeah. instead of uh you know having a one one pound fish like they're doing in the mlf where it's it was it was a struggle for these guys and of course you know the weather the last two days wasn't wasn't the greatest but uh it was it was uh it was it was pretty interesting oh it was it was and it's real guys yeah it's, and it's real it's real it's not <laughs> Some fake yeah, it's live. It's, 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 live. It's, it's as how it happens. All it, these guys were from Wisconsin that kicked it all off this year. So that's pretty, you know. Yeah. But I'm hoping that we do enough support here that next year everybody gets really geared up. Mm -hmm. And you could go on YouTube and watch what happened yesterday. You could go yep. on YouTube now and watch what happened this morning. It'll be on again this afternoon. One o'clock, they kick yep. back in this afternoon. One thirty this afternoon, they're back on the water again. And the two anglers are fishing on Fox Lake for twenty five hundred bucks. So, yeah, um, that's that's going to be fun to watch. I'm and you're a sponsor. I'm you're a sponsor. You're one of the original sponsors of this. I was yep. like, I saw it's, that. I, I'm watching. It goes Freedom Baits. I was like, <laughs> Holy God, it's Dan! You know. Yep. It's like, Good job, Dan. Yep. Yeah. 
So it's pretty cool. And those guys, they did a good job. Everything about it was yep. was really good. The only thing, like I so we I talked earlier, is I wish what they would do is, and they did it at the end today, where guys sat down in a boat and they talked about what went on for their five hours, what they used and what was going on. And I'd like me personally for being in the products. That's what I would like to see. It is is a the, good... They talk more about the products and talk more about what they used that day yep. and what worked and what didn't work that day. Yep. I mean, even if they, you know, let's say they all the way to the last day, you know, they talk about, I mean, they don't have to spill the beans and give out, you know, what they're using and all that. But at the end, you know, just talk about how far you made it, what we're using, you know, depth of the water and, you know, what we're using at this depth and water temp, you know, everything yeah, changes. Yeah, that's stuff, yeah. That's, uh, and they explain it and a lot of people learn from stuff like that. Well, yeah, it's it's like a square bill crankbait. Never, a lot of people probably don't even know what a square bill crankbait is. I don't. Or guys like us. I had guys send me emails. What's a chatter bait? I never heard of that. You know, and you explain them. They're like, oh wow, that must be something new. And you go, kinda, yeah, you know. But you just, you know, you explain it to them. Yeah. But they they do a good job on it. Yeah, the guys from Real Shot there. They yeah, they Ryan do a and heck them of do a job. Yeah. Oh, those yeah. guys. I think the world of those guys. I try to. Take in as much of what they're doing. I'm always enjoying you, you, what they're doing. You go to their doing. stores, even. I mean, they just, they got everything. If they don't have it there, they'll get it for you too. You know, it's, yeah. it's. I mean, there's someone right there. You know, right away asking, even if they're busy. You know, do you need help? Do you need this? Or what yeah. are you looking for? They're good people up there. <clears throat> yeah, they're good people. Now we're gonna we added some other things we we're gonna talk about, which is your ice fishing plastics, which is really right around the corner, and we're gonna do more on that. Um, and here's another one. I guess what I'd like to do, oh, I'm, oh, I'm screwing up here, guys. Freedombaits.com <laughs> yep. is your plastics. You gave me plastics last spring. I mm -hmm. used them this summer. They worked. They worked great. Mm -hmm. You know, they did. We, caught, we, did, we, we did a good job on the panfish. So right. now we got to talk about a little bit more about ice fishing is coming up. And Jesse, you, you know, mm -hmm. you're the guy that I always go to for everything <laughs> because you're the guy that knows. And you too, Dan. You're out quite a bit. What are you guys looking at that people should be thinking about ordering for this upcoming ice fishing season? Well, um, jigs. Yeah, a lot of it's the jig. The jig thing has exploded. You know, the new colors. You know, the, the tungstens. The it, it's every. You know, it's, everything is custom colors nowadays. Or it's yep. you know they work. They work. They work. <laughs> they work. The or like your plastics. Like look at how we did the tails. Two tone of the tails last year, you know, mix and match in different colors, you know, mm -hmm. some with more fleck in it than others. And look at a few years ago when they came out with a big thing of glow in the dark, or the and then the clear plastics. In Fisherman had a huge. Somebody wrote an article in In Fisherman about using clear plastics. Who would ever thought you use clear plastics for something like that? But it was a huge deal. But they put deal. flake in it, don't they? they yeah, no, it's just clear plastic. It's just clear plastic. Or they had it where it was just plain, like the green glow in the dark is just plain glow in the dark. You know, nothing in, added to it. You know. There's you just change stuff up, you know, so everything's yeah. like a one day it could be chartreuse, the next day it could be a chartreuse in purple, you know, it's changes, you know, multi colors. And you've got about everything here. You do. You, yeah, you've got about everything. Pretty good and selection. I've, and uh, we've got probably uh, any combination we can pretty much yeah. do. Because you got your mad scientist. You got your <laughs> yeah, wait. What was the one? Uh, cinnamon with gold fleck. Or is that gold fleck or silver? It was gold. It was yeah. copper fleck. Copper but, fleck. And then we... But there's there's some of the baits will do certain things. Um, or some of the molds, I should say, will do certain things to the baits that you won't be able to do with other. Because you got to remember, these are micro. So we can get close with some of the, mm -hmm. some of the stuff. But we've also got... Uh, um, some some possibly this year yet this year um we've got some uh new molds in the in the works so some oh. different designs coming nice. out um a little it's a little, little late but um a little bit larger um some some definitely some springtime and summertime stuff because i'm i'm working on trying to hit the southern market Okay. Um, with some bigger, bigger stuff that we're we got in the works. Yeah, it's crazy how big of stuff that they use down there versus here. Yeah. These must I mean, this be stuff. Bits. Yeah, the, the stuff we use here. I mean, that's like it looks like a small mall tube jig, and they use that down south for crappies. Yeah. yeah. And here we're like, wow, we use the smaller stuff. Something else we talked about was Jesse. You were duck hunting yesterday. 
You're talking about all the acorns that are down there. Acorns are... Man, this it's is... A, a, well, it's been so wet this yeah. year. And I got a feeling it's probably everywhere around the Midwest. A lot of acorns. Yeah, tons. So it's, it's going to make hunting a little tough because they're not going to be... Well, I noticed a lot, food. too, coming home a lot lately. You know, you're seeing all the deer in the green fields quite a bit in the bean fields. A lot of times when the beans turn yellow, deer quit hitting them, you they know. But, hitting. boy, there's no deer in the green, no deer, you know... They're in there eating acorns, or I mean, and even bear hunting this year too. It's ungodly the amount of acorns, and, and that really slows your bear baits up bad too. You know, they're feeding a natural food for them. But this is I've never seen this many acorns before. And they never. don't have to move far to eat. No, so it's that's kind of like you <laughs> sit on the couch with a bowl of ice cream. Yeah, and go get another bowl. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, what else do we want to cover? I just. I'm amazed by the head to head. Yeah, that, that was, was my pretty. That's that was pretty is, interesting, and it's I live. Dan, it's all... I called Dan yesterday morning. I'm like, oh man, and I, I, I couldn't. I had to keep watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah you get hooked on it's it right addicting. away. Yeah. It's addicting. I'll be, I'll be turning the TV back on it, uh, live streaming it off of Facebook at yeah. uh, 1:30 today. So, so it'll be. I want to support those guys big yeah. time because I want to see this really. Really Take off. Big. I do too. I want the guys to talk about products, so I'm a little biased on that end. I want guys to talk about I, the products. I like the idea of this head-to-head fishing as far as um, there's so many tournaments, and this is what we've done for years. We've always taken them five fish and putting them in a live well, and we've tooling them around out, out yeah. on the boat and then bringing them in for a live live weigh-in. And, you know, that's that stuff still happens today, and it's... Yeah, you know, they don't it's have going to with to, the technology They don't today. have to. They don't yeah. have to. And, and That's like the aim cool. of the catch photo and release. You know, they got yes. got to have your card in there. They got the whole fish on the board and yeah. everything, and you're releasing it right Re- away. Re- releasing it right, uh, right away, and it's good, you know, for the... Change is good. Mm-hmm. Change is good. Big and, yep. and, and some of the stuff that we watch for years, they're afraid to change. Oh, yeah, you see that everywhere. Every day it's like that. Right. People are afraid to change, you know, just like baits. A guy gets hooked on using a red one so many, you know, half the winter, you know, yeah. and then you switch to something else or the pink one, and they don't, it, too, they don't like that change because they don't have enough confidence on it. Right. Which and this is not. better. This is for the good. You know, you're not killing the fish. You're not right. injuring. They can't even drop a fish in the boat. They get penalized. Yeah, I you know, so they're not the damaging yet. Too, was, that's, yeah. a, that's their penalty is if you drop a fish or. And there you're not, you know, so they're holding on to the fish, you know, yeah. they're just weighing it and right away it's going and back. They can't back use in. nets. Yep. They can't use a net. I saw that. Um, the only time they can use a net other than a, 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 a bass species. Um, so northern they can use a muskie, they can use the net. Okay. Which but, is safe. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's safe to land it to get their lure back get or whatever, lure, but yeah. um, the bass have to be flipped in I the didn't boat. quite understand some of the rules. I was busy so watching. The flipping is where they're... Where they're Pretty much getting their penalty. They flip in the fish back into the boat, and they're they're falling, you know, falling mm-hmm. off. And they t- that's the same thing as the major league fishing too. If they yeah. that hits the floor, boom, they got to hits sit the side there. of the yeah, boat. Or, I yeah, think the too. boat or the floor. Yep. Yeah. That's hard to do. Sometimes. Yeah, it, it takes some practice to figure that out. <laughs> With that, did we kind of conclude what we were up to? I think so. Yeah, I I just wanted to talk head to head. With that, I want to talk to everybody about what we have going on at the Outdoor Trade Show Network. And I want these guys here, uh, I'm hoping will be a big part of what we got going on, is that a lot of changes are coming with us right now. The website, our website will be up and going in another week. I'm hoping two weeks at the most, the website will be up and going. And Carlos and Angel are working big on that. Joe is, you know, they're all doing what they have to do. But we have now... Uh, there's no coming back from the next phase, which is the TV. And uh, the TV network will be up and running full bore probably the end of November, early December. And we will be on Roku, we'll be on Apple TV, we'll be on Chromecast, and we'll be on Amazon Fire. And we are going to be selling outdoor products, or we're going to be showing, and it's going to be subscription-based. And at the beginning, I think it's going to be free for manufacturers to come in. We need the content. So that's why I'm asking everybody is this. I need manufacturers to come up with content and give discounts on their products. And we're going to run this like a Costco. Costco is kind of what, what brought this all about. You'll be a subscriber. You'll get discounts on products for being a subscriber. So you can sit at home, watch TV. You can watch all these videos 
and different shows and content about outdoor products. And if you're a subscriber, you will get discounts on these products for being a, sub a subscriber in our network. So we want to take care of our subscribers with discounts. We want to take care of our manufacturers with our subscribers buying from our manufacturers. So we're hoping one hand washes the other. But the big one is this. We're going to sell firearms. We are going to sell firearms on TV. We are going to go against whatever everybody's got going right now, and we're going to help the firearms people in, in a big way. We're going to be very firearms friendly, um, and we're going to do the best we can to help the firearms companies uh, get the word out of what they got going on. But everybody, fishing, hunting, off-roading, camping, mm -hmm. you know, services, if you got a resort, like Jesse's Guide Service here, mm -hmm. Um, whatever you got, you get in our system, give a discount to our subscribers. So that's, and we want everybody involved. And the biggest, one of the biggest hurdles that we've had has been the dealers. We want the dealers involved. It's up to the manufacturers to take care of their dealers, which is we're looking for our subscribers to get a discount. You as a manufacturer, if you have a whole bunch of dealers out there, take care of your dealers. We want your products going to our subscribers and we want to help your dealers just as much as you do. And, and there's a way that we can do this. We right. can all do this working together. So I know Dan's going to be one of our manufacturers. We're going to come up with packages and we're going to come up with products that we're going to have on the TV network that our subscribers will get discounts on for ordering. So, and I'm hoping that yeah, you've got the same some thing people. Yeah, Lake Link does too is yeah. like if a veteran firefighter or a police officer you know you give them 10 off right yep. off the bat for that you know yep and that's another one if lake link wants to come and i want to get the content out there i want to share with everybody every single bit of content to help a consumer as far as show them a product my big thing is this show the product what makes it unique where can someone purchase it or how to how do i use it Oh, well, that's how you oh, get God, so I many yeah. emails. That I don't, you know, everybody's catching them on this. I don't know how to use that. You know, you explain to them. That's the, why that, where the head-to-head -head thing is. Yes. Where they explain. Sure, you know, that's what I, 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 I would like to talk to Mr. Keller, Brian, and say, mm -hmm. Brian, please, would you do this for me? Would you also include in what you're doing is talk about what you're using, what worked, what didn't work in an honest way. I want to do this. Uh, let, let's all be honest about what we're doing here. That's that's mm -hmm. kind of the one thing I I, I want to do here. Let's do this. Have some fun. You know, we got our subscribers. We got our manufacturers. Let's all find a way to get this information out there. And we can do that today. And we're going to do this with the TV content. We're going you're going on TV. You can sit at home and you'll be able to on the app because they're building the apps and the, and. It's when it comes to Angel and it comes to Carlos and Joe and Benj and all the guys, they're a whole lot smarter than I am, so they know how to do all that stuff. I don't, you know, I can do this here. When do you plan on having this up and going? You By think? the end of November, first week in December, the TV content will be launched. We will be full bore on TV. In another okay. week or two, the website will be up and going. And I, every week I'm going to talk about this now is I need manufacturers to get on board. I need your videos. I need your content. I need you in our system uh, showing your products and giving discounts to our subscribers. So that's my big thing from now until then because there's no coming back. With the contracts that have been signed and the, and the, and the progress that we've made, there's no coming back. This is going to happen. And now it's going to happen. I know, Dan, you're going to be one of our manufacturers. And uh, he's got great products. I mean, you're a sponsor on Head to Head. Um, Guys are using your stuff. You, they're using your plastics. You know, one of your guys caught 15.9 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's it's really exciting. I think it's exciting yeah. what we got going on. Especially when you got someone using your plastics and they're catching fish. And it's live on TV, too. Oh, it's a big deal. Yep. I mean, it's like, this is, yeah. And I think the head-to-head -head guys, this is just the start of something really big. Oh, I, yeah. It's, I, it's huge. What they it's, did and how they put it together. You said they've been working on this since 2009? I think they said 2009. Yeah, I can believe that. I would like to know what program they're using because I know what goes into what they did with that production. Um, I can't imagine the headaches that they had to no. have had. So No, they did a real they did a real good job. Oh, they did a great and, job. They and did. they're just going to get better with it. Yes. Yeah. 
It's, and it's, it's all going to get better. Everything's you can, you can tell everybody in the studio, the guys that are behind the scenes running this, that they, they have worked their butt off, you know, to put this together. Yep. And, and they care about the sport of it. And, yeah. And it's, it's, it's really cool. That's like me coming here. I love talking to this guy. You want to know something? Jesse here. <laughs> Ask Jesse. Mm -hmm. He's out here. Every day Every you're day. either out fishing or hunting or you're hunting. Yeah. You're duck hunting or you're bear hunting or yeah, God only knows what you're what you're <laughs> what you're chasing. And and your website, I didn't hear I screwed up. Plug yourself a little bit. Uh, I didn't put it in here, so I screwed up. <laughs> I have Greenwater Walleye's guide service. So we do waterfall hunts, bear hunts, turkey hunts, fishing trips. But like this week we did waterfall hunts, did bear hunts and fishing trips all in one. You said the ducks yeah, I don't know. Well, the area we were in yesterday, I don't think there's there's a few there's a few ducks. I mean, we saw ducks in that and a lot of geese, but there was a few shots fired in the area. Okay. But there's it's a few a right. it's, too. Yeah, that's but it's it'll it'll come around, you know. It's it's got to get cold up north. Yeah. Starts pushing the ducks south. Last year was a really good waterfall hunt. Later on too. Okay. But, White bass were on fire though. Oh, uh, you've been posting pictures. Yeah, it's unreal. I, Hold it's on. How many did you like, catch last week? I think we kept the total this week. We kept, I think it was 944 of them that people cleaned. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of fillets. A lot of, yeah. 1,800 fillets. And I, I filleted, one day I filleted 310 for my people and 225 the next day. And then I drew the line the next day. I said, <laughs> if you want this many, you're going to clean them. I told a guy that yesterday. He goes, well, I only want 67 of them for the smoker. I said, that ain't too bad. Then. That ain't too bad. <laughs> and they're no, nice size. Good. They got size yeah, to them. Huge. Yeah, they're already full of spawn. It's crazy how, you know, well, spring spawn is not that far off, you know. But it's, yeah, yeah there's some dandies. They're getting fish hauled. I mean, fishing's really picked up. The water's been high, though, with a all lot year. of current. It's been high all year. But it seems like when we have high water and a lot of current, the fishing's really, really good. Yeah. When that water drops and that temperature drops... Like they it's it's sticking right around that sixty five degree mark right now, which is perfect. But okay. when the water drops though, it shuts stuff off terribly bad. Bow hunting. You're working on bows in here. You're doing oh, yeah. a lot with bows. bows. Any advice for people with the bows? If they ain't tuned, <laughs> get them get them in get here. Them yeah. get, get them in, in here. Get them get them to an archery practice. dealership near you. Um, get them tuned. Uh, if you're local and you got. Uh, Need arrows fletched? Get them in here. We'll yeah. we'll get them fletched up for you real quick. Um, so yeah, uh, and good luck to you guys out there bow hunting and be safe. Well, like you said, um, with all these acorns, they're not moving. Yeah, it, this is this. It's gonna just get better from here on yeah. out. So yeah, they're gonna start. It's moving crazy. It was tomorrow or Tuesday? Is already October? Yeah. I was yeah. just telling Chantel that the other day. I said, "God, wasn't it Fourth of July like a week ago?" Yeah. <laughs> it goes fast. It goes yeah. fast. Yeah. We cover our bases. I want to go back to this. I want to go to head-to-head -to -head fishing because I was... It's still stoked and pumped Oh, I was. It. It's hard to talk. You're going to go home and watch it. It's easy to talk about it. Well, it's easy to I'll talk go home and watch it. Last night, I was had all this work to do, and I just sat there watching. It was really nice. Mm -hmm. Cheering your guy on, cheering Cody on. Yeah. He had 15.9 pounds. He did well yesterday. Yes, he did. Yeah. So with that, I'm going to say goodnight to everybody. Yep. Say thank you, and, and stay tuned for... All the stuff we got coming up, I'm going to talk about it week after week. But with that, and Dan, I want to come back. You know, yep. we got to come back because we're going to talk about show, and we'll show plastics too, mm -hmm. Jesse. We'll show products. Yep. So with that, I want to say thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Thanks.